birthing or unbirthing terms. 1. Send away heaving line. To throw the heaving line onto the wharf or tug or boat extra. 2. Make fast tug with ship's line or tug line to secure the tug the vessel with either the ship line or the tug line. 3. Take more turns. Take more turns of the rope round the bollard or on the drum. 4. Send away mooring line. To send the mooring line to be made fast. 5. Heave away. Start heaving on the winch. 6. Pick up slack. Start picking up slack on the mooring rope. 7. Take stopper. To tie the stopper onto the rope. 8. Make fast mooring line. To secure the mooring line. 9. Slip the line. Let the line go off. 10. Put or remove rat guards. To place or remove the rat guards onto the mooring rope. 11. Let go mooring line. To remove the line from the bollard. 12. Place fenders. To place additional fenders between vessel and ship side. Duties of ratings before mooring to a dock. Check that heaving line, gat line, stoppers, rad guards, and mooring ropes or wires are in good condition. Test mooring winches and capstans. Ensure mooring equipment is in good condition. Ensure lights for the deck are operational. Ensure the communication system is operational. Attend to toolbox meeting and understand well the required works to be carried out. During operation. Wear proper PPE. Layout mooring ropes, prepare heaving line and stopper, keep one spare heaving line standby. When tug approaches, take permission from the OOW and make fast the tug. Send away the first line after taking permission from the OOW. Repeat orders of the OOW or master. Report to the OOW on every operation carried out. Pay out or heave up the mooring rope under controlled manner. Ensure the mooring ropes while working remain clear of fenders, bow thruster and propeller. Monitor the stress on the mooring ropes, adjust as required. Stay away from snapback zones when ropes are incoming under tension. Be alert and monitor the vessel's movement or clearance. Report useful information to OOW or master. Watch keeping duties with respect to mooring. Know the timing and height of tide. Know the cargo or ballast operation of the ship as the change in freeboard of the vessel due the operation will affect the moorings. Attend to the mooring ropes regularly and adjust it as required. Keep watch on moving traffic and weather condition. Ensure that the vessel maintains its position at the berth all the time.